I exited out of the video because I was like, man, what am I doing? I should go, I should just go to sleep or go do something else. But I feel like that's the negative thoughts just talking to me. And my Lyft driver was telling me like a little key to life for real is like those thoughts you like, you, you can't pay attention to them. The thoughts that are going to lead you nowhere. So yeah, pretty much it's going to be like a smoke and chill type of vibe but you don't even gotta smoke i'm just smoking because it's 1 a.m and i plan on going to sleep um before it's super late so yeah but before i go to sleep i'm just gonna talk and uh chill with y'all for a bit we got the incense going that good incense and yeah cheers I mentioned my Lyft driver. That was all fast. <laughs> but I mentioned my Lyft driver. And it was just funny to me because... Not funny, but I'm just realizing a lot of times, like... Let me see if this... Um, you can turn the lights. I don't want to break them now. Just turn them. Yeah, that, that might have been OD. But yeah. Hold on. It's all smoky and type shit in here now. Okay. There we go. But yeah, um, I was like, I'm, sometimes I'd be shy to get in lifts and stuff. I'd be like, uh, I'm not going to talk to them. I'm just going to like, you know, I'm just going to be on my phone and like be quiet and stuff. But today, like God was like, nah, you know, because a lot of times I feel like when I'm in a situation with someone, I feel like God doesn't place me in places for no reason. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's never just, not never, but sometimes at least, it's not going to just be like a zone in, zone out. Like, I'll be, like, like today, I was going to the stores and everything, and before, like, past me, I low-key could just, like, it was more like, okay, I'm going to go in the store and just, like, zone in, zone out. But then, like, if I'm being aware, I realize I'm going to go into the store and I'm going to talk to someone. Like, I have to talk to people. I'm going to look at people in the eyes. Because I'm out socializing. Even though I'm not, like, planning a date with the homies or my girlfriend, I'm still socializing. Because if I go in a store and I can't find the, what I'm looking for, I'm going to ask a worker. I'm going to ask a person. I'm going to ask, you know what I mean? If I'm walking with my car, people make eye contact with me. They like what I'm wearing, they want to compliment something, they're telling me they like my car, they like something, they're commenting on the food I'm buying, like, there's always some type of interaction, at least with me, and I think it's just so funny, like, my anxiety, that, because I deal with anxiety a lot of the time, um, and I feel like it's always funny when I'm going into a situation, like, having these, like, anxious thoughts, and I kind of, like, don't know how the situation is going to go i'm like okay i'm gonna go to the store i wonder how it's going to go i wonder if i'm going to be weird i wonder if i'm going to be awkward i wonder if i'm going to talk to people and then i go into that then and then i actually go into the situation and it's chill like i'm over here conversing with people naturally doesn't feel like why are they talking to me like you know what i mean it's really just my brain telling me like it's my brain trying to get me to not do something and yeah like so I'll get anxiety just about go. I always I get anxiety about going to anywhere that's not home. You get me? Like, obviously, if I'm going to somewhere familiar, I don't have anxiety because I just that's my like habitat. Like I'm chill. I know what it's like. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm if I'm in the gym every day or like really frequently, I'm not like scared to go in the gym. I don't have anxiety because I'm used to the environment. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm scared to go to the stores or if I'm, like, fearful or if I'm having a lot of anxiety around going to the store, you know what I mean? If I'm going to the store more frequently, I don't have that same anxiety. So, yeah. Damn. I'm breaking out on my neck and it hurts, but, yeah, that was probably my fault because I, I picked at it. It's like, anyways, where this is not pimple talk. But, yeah, um... My Lyft driver too was telling me like, it's not just about having the good thoughts and like 
having the lifestyle and seeing it that you want, you really have to put it into practice and like change your life around. And I was like, you know, that's true. And one thing he really said that mentioned to me that I've been practicing on my own. It's just funny. It's, it feels good too when you're talking to someone and like he was telling me like tips and stuff because he's 59 and I'm 22. And it's nice to relate like he was telling me things that like about life and i'm like dang i just thought about that today. i just thought about that the other day like i was also thinking about taking things day by day like because every time i'm like oh tomorrow if i'm trying if i say anything about what i'm gonna do tomorrow it's like a hit or miss because it's tomorrow y'all see my buddy Here. Bro. This man has a I just gave him I gave him the end of a sweet potato. I gave him like three handfuls of kale. What you want? What you want? He eats so much. I gave him kale like three times today. Carrots, raisins. What else did I give him? Can't even keep track. So much good stuff. And he plows through it because he's a big boy. He hasn't been eating his like dry food, which is great. He's on that like, he likes the real food, you know what I mean? So cute. But yeah, he's been like eating fruits and just veggies and stuff. But what I'm going to, oh, and a lot of cilantro. He loves cilantro. So I just have, I just literally will take like a freaking tree worth of cilantro and just give it to him. I gave him cilantro twice today. Um, yeah, he's eating. But. He's so cute. Watch my baby. He's licking me. I freaking love you. I love you. That's my game right there. But yeah. <sighs> Stuff's just wild, man, with life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here as well. Doing, doing what I'm doing. I'm not trying to be better. I'm just doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, man. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that to be like I'm vegan or like I'm organic. Like I'm not just saying it because that. Like I don't have to try. This is the thing. I don't like. I don't like to consider myself anything because I just am what I am. You feel me? I'm not trying to be vegan i'm not trying to be a strictly meat eater i'm not trying to be a fruitarian a fruit only diet i'm not trying to be pescatarian i just am like i change my mindset of what i want from my life and things change accordingly i don't have to force it do you get me i don't have to be like like i'm not saying i don't have to be like okay i should eat this uh, but it's not like a force it's more like I see myself in the future being super healthy. I see myself in the future being older and with my body still intact. I see myself tomorrow being my best self. I see myself right now trying to feel myself, feel my best. F the future. The future will come when it comes. And when it comes, it's going to be today. So let me focus on today. Today, I want to feel my best. What can I give my body to feel my best? What can I do to feel my best? When that's your mindset, you move different. You don't like you cannot have you can't have a slack in mindset. You can't have a negative mindset and then implement new you get what I'm saying? Like you can't have a mind that's stuck that doesn't care about being your best self in the moment and try to coerce it to be healthy. Like either your mind is changed or it's not. If your mind is changed, you don't have to force changes. 
because your mind is already moving different. You cannot, you like, I don't want, like, bro, I wrote a bar and I said you could work out every day and still not be in shape. Because it's, it's more than that. It's more than just working out. Like, I used to think I could outwork a bad diet. I can't. That's why I'm taking my diet more seriously. And I'm like really thinking, what do I need to be my best self? Because I'd be like, oh, I, I can eat this. I'm not saying I don't eat like, you know what I'm saying? Um, like fun food. But, you know, it's like, I can't play with myself. Like I ate Wingstop yesterday, bro. And it like grossed me the fuck out because the wings that they gave me were like the hormone wings that are like pumped up with stuff. So they're just so big and tough and like hormony. I literally like barely ate my shit. I just killed the fries and like the wings that were tiny and crispy. And I felt like shit afterwards. I like my brain just wasn't at its peak. And the next day I had the shits. Like my stomach's messed up. And I was like, okay. I need to start changing my mind and moving in a way that's going to benefit me. Because it's not even about, oh, wing stop, the calories. Like, I don't care about calories, bro. I am I used to be super calorie like, oh, how many calories is this? Uh, nothing wrong with that. But for me personally, I'm not. that's not how I attain health anymore i do still look at the calories like obviously i'm not like sometimes bro it depends like i'm not like so meticulous but if i'm like about to eat like a a blueberry muffin i'm gonna check the back and see how much sugar is in it i want to know because i don't like eating high sugar shit because i I said it before but it messes with my head like i feel the rush and then i crash and i don't like that so i check i like to check to see if i'm getting my protein protein i do prioritize it but like calories is not my biggest concern but yeah, I won't eat like a muffin that's like fucking 700 calories. And it's like, you know what I mean? Like if it's like tiny, I'm gonna be like, bro, that's they're trying to kill us. But yeah, I don't super care about macros. But what I'm trying to get at here is like, it's not even about the calories. It's about how does it make me feel? Like if I'm trying to have a good day tomorrow and I'm pretty sure the anxiety is also linked to diet, like my anxiety, because when I'm eating cleaner foods, like today, I felt great, freaking great. I ate. Ground turkey tacos twice with um, fresh avocado, a little bit of sour cream, tapatio, and a taco shell. And I cooked the meat with, it was ground turkey, kale, bell peppers. Um, Yeah, so like very nutrient food. I ate that with some sweet potatoes. And then for dinner, I had tilapia with zucchini, black beans, and onion, like a stir fry. I felt amazing. The food tasted good, so clean. And then for like sec like snacks, I've been eating some veggie chips. They're literally not those fake veggie chips. They're they're I don't know if they're baked or fried, but they're coated in oil. They're either baked or fried, and it's literally chips of carrots, sweet potatoes, um, taro, 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 whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let me know. Um, like different roots, different like like I said, carrots. Um, there's just like, it's just a vegetable blend. They're literally just crispy amazingness with just a little bit of sea salt from sprouts. I ate that. And then I got a watermelon, an organic, not, it's not even organic. It's just an OG watermelon. Like it doesn't have to be organic. It's the seeded watermelon. It's the ones that real watermelons are not round. Real watermelons are oval. I mean, they can be round, but the ones that I've been getting from sprouts are the OG ones. They taste like real watermelon. And they have black and white seeds in them. Okay, seeded watermelon. I ate that. And then I also ate some cantaloupe and I put some honey on the cantaloupe and some tahini and lime because the cantaloupe, um, it wasn't that sweet. So I put a dab of um, some organic honey on it. <clears throat> it literally tasted like sweet cantaloupe. Like you don't taste the hella honey. But anyways, yeah, that's what I ate today. You see what I'm saying? Compared to yesterday when I ate Wingstop, um, I had made salmon cakes and fried rice. That didn't make that didn't mess me up. It's like my home cooked stuff can mess me up, but it didn't. It depends on what I'm making. Like if I'm making pasta with like mad heavy cream or like do you know what I mean? Like certain things will mess me up. Um but 
my buddy and just tried to jump over something and it sounded crazy, but he good. But yeah, what I'm trying to get at here is like, it's really just about how you want to feel, bro. Like, uh, uh-uh. and it's not even just Wingstop. It's the fact of like the wings and like what they, they don't care about what they're putting out. Cause I ate wings like a couple of days ago, like Saturday. I ate wings on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So I ate wings on Saturday and then I had them again Wednesday. I had wings from a place in Inglewood. And the wings are all natural, no antibiotics. They're small wings, how they're supposed to be. They're not blown up. A chicken wing should not almost be the size of a drumstick. You get me? Like a chicken wing should be a tiny wing. It's literally just a little wing part of the chicken, which should only be like that big. Well, I don't know why they're this big at like Wingstop and other wing places. They should literally be like this, not that. And they're like actual wings are like this big. The ones I'm getting are like this big. They're like double the size. That's not organic, antibiotic free. So yeah, I ate those wings, that the, the natural ones. I felt good. Like I didn't feel gross after. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I feel like I just ate a kale salad and, ch- and freaking chicken breast, but compared to Wingstop, bro, I feel different. And yeah, like I think that stuff really does matter, bro. Like yesterday, I was going to go to Food for Less to get um, veggies and stuff like that. No hate to Food for Less, but like God literally told me, nah, because I got there and they were close. They're supposed to close at like 10. They were closed early. So I was like, okay, I can't go to Food for Less. The next nearest store was Vons, which is, if you know, Vons is like an, a higher class store. It's like the next level store compared to like a Food for Less, Walmart, those type of stores. And I got veggies and stuff from there. And like, I think it does matter. And even if it doesn't affect my body differently, like f- veggies and food from one store versus the other, I feel like it's a psychological thing because at like a Food for Less or something, like I know... I'm not getting the highest quality stuff. I'm getting, it's food for less. Like, why is it less? You know what I mean? And realistically, I don't even think it's that much less than like a sprout or something like that because vegetables are just like very low, low price. Like, or Trader Joe's, like the prices are not crazy. If anything, they're, they're probably cheaper than a food for less. But what I'm trying to get at here is like, I think that stuff does matter, like psychologically and physically and spiritually, mentally, all that stuff, because you know, like say I work my butt off, right? And I have I have ten thousand dollars, and I'm like I ha- I want a car. Everything else in my life is secure. I have ten k. I have ten k, or not even ten k. I feel like it goes with cars, bro. Like if I get a lower quality car, I'm gonna feel I'm gonna be on that vibration level. Compared to if I get a nicer car, I'm going to be on that vibration level. I'm not saying that cars are your worth, but it's like a message. Your surroundings is a message to yourself. And I'm not talking about surroundings that you can't control. I'm talking about controllable ones. If you're in the position to control your surroundings. Like if I can buy an apartment or uh, an apartment um, that's like decent, like a say a two-star apartment versus a five-star, I have the money for both. It's not a money thing. And I tell myself, let me get the two-star because, you know, the future, I, I don't want to spend a lot of money on the five-star. I'm telling myself that I'm only worth a two-star. You get me? Like, it's not about the material, but it's like a message to yourself, though. You feel? Like, whoa. Whoa. But I don't know, though. I contradicted myself here because... Ooh, because I'm thinking about it now in like the stores because I shop at Ross, Ross, Dress for Less, Marshall, I shop at those stores. And so is me paying like $10 for a shirt that used to be 50, is that sending a message to myself, Selling, telling myself that I'm not worth expensive clothes? I don't know if I have an answer for that one. But at least regarding with food, um, I do think all food is different. Actually, 
let's not even talk about houses, cars, because those things don't affect our body like right right into our bloodstream like food and drink does. I even think water does something. It's different. Uh, my mom used to get alkaline water. She put me on it. And I've, I I don't know why. I felt so much better drinking alkaline water. Like, even coconut water, bro. I'll be... I'm trying to put it out. It's still smoking. I'd be dehydrated. And I'll just be trying to... I'll be chugging bottled water. It never quenches my thirst. But I drink coconut water or like an alkaline water and I feel good. But then again, sometimes too on water, I also feel good. Like today I had some ice water. Pfft. Today I had some ice water. I'm literally ranting about ice water, but it hit and it was bottled water. I think it was literally like the Kroger brown water. So I don't know, man. I don't have the answers to life. I'm just taking it day by day. But what more can we do, you know? But I take it before, besides take it day by day. Put the incense out, it was burning good. Shout out incense. That oh, cracked. All right. We got Chi Chi's. I like my body, bro. <sighs> yeah, man. Lay off. You tired now? Back to close though. I feel like I feel like too. It just depends where God's telling you to go, man. I'm not saying, or is it just a balance? You know what I mean? Like how I'm saying, oh, food for less versus Vons. Like, just, does that mean I should only shop at like Vons, Whole Foods, Sprouts, or does it mean? Balance, meaning I can't just shop at Food for Less, uh, Walmart, blah, blah, blah. I have to shop at both. No, I have to shop at both. But you get what I'm trying to say. There's just an analogy, like balance. You know what I mean? That's how I see it. Like, I can't, I don't want to be just all vegan and, or all meat eater. Like, all plant-based or all meat. I, want, I combine meat and plants and fruits and grains and, and, and this and that and that. All food that's good for our bodies, I like combine it fish salmon you know what i mean i feel like it's it's that it's the in the middle not one side or the other you get me like i want to have the nicest bmw i want to have a lambo i want to have and i will the we can all get whatever we want i believe so um like i want all the nice stuff but i also want a little like pickup truck you know what i mean like you know what i mean like i also want a little mm, 1990 car i also want a little hoopty i got both you know what i mean like i could have the tesla and the prius <laughs> you know what I mean? like it's both it's both i think i just saw him. i just answered my it's both it's both it's both 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 duality Duality to both. I just solved my own. Can't have, you know what I'm saying? Just my, just just the one spectrum of feminine. Gotta have one of the. Gotta have both. Low, maybe a low feminine, high feminine on the spectrum. Low mask, high mask. They balance each other out. You know what I'm saying? Like even like when I go to sleep, I like staying up late, but I can't only stay up late. Ooh, I can't, I like getting up early, but I can't just get up early. It's a balance. Period. Holy crap. Even with weed. I can't smoke weed all day. 
You know what I'm saying? I'd be sober daytime. Maybe sober nighttime too. Next day. Sober. Maybe I'm high all day. Next day. Maybe I'm sober all day. Next day. Maybe I'm high I'm high the morning. Sober by the night. Maybe I'm I'm sober by the morning. High by the night. Balance. Holy crap. Is that life is just about balance. I've been said that and I still think it's true. Life is all about balance. Trying to make this money, trying to make that fucking money and tap into my talents. Life is all about balance, bro. Balance. I think it's about balance. Y'all, practice balance and let me know if life is all about balance. Let me know. Because I think it's all about balance. But I want to hear from y'all because this is my life perspective. I hope y'all... Also, these conversations is me talking to myself and y'all, God, spirits, talking through things. You know what I'm saying? Just because it comes out of my mouth does not mean that's my final statement, my final stance on something. I'm working through it and trying to understand it until it makes sense to me and... So, yeah. But, yeah, balance, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's all about balance, man. Balance. All right. I'm going to log off. I don't even know what accent that is. I am going to log off in the computer. And probably go and hit the hay. Go and hit the hay so in the morning I can get some stacks. Hey, gonna hit the hay in the morning, gonna get some stacks. Better close your mouth, yeah, you're looking like your flapjack. Flapjack, you're not inside my tax bracket. Mm, tax bracket, I owe the government a lot of money. A lot of money, all that business, and I think it's funny. Hmm, I that wings up and I messed up with my. Mm, I that wings up and I messed up with my fucking tummy. I ain't that wings up and I messed up my tummy. Mm. Mm. She said I'm her bad, but I am not coming. Mm. If I don't call you right on there, I am not coming. Mm. I feel like I start because I am so stunning. Mm. I feel like I start because I am so stunning. Mm. Coming, you sing because I do. Mm. Mm. I feel like I start because I am so mm. I feel like I start because I am so stunning. Mm. Shakari Richard saying, yeah, I be running. Shakari Richardson, yeah, I'll be running. Shout out Shakari Richardson. You're a freaking legend. You're fast as hell. Let's race. Shakari Richardson, this is my call out. Let's race. If I lose, it's cool. I just want to be in the presence of a great athlete. I feel like I would push myself. But yeah, I'm fast though. I just ain't I just ain't in the Olympics, you feel me? But if they knew about my speed, I would have been in the Olympics by now. That's what I'm saying. That's how I'm saying. So Sakari, Usain. You know you know where to hit me. My email is C my last name at gmail.com. C C H I G B O U at gmail.com. I'll be waiting. Hi right, Shakari. Are right, you saying this? You saying I'm gonna start with Shakari. Let's start with Shakari. I wonder if they're the same speed. I don't even know. Anyways, hit me up. Damn, look at the um, look at the muscles. Look at the muscles. Look at look at the muscles. Look at the muscles. Okay, I gotta get to sleep. I'm probably waking up my dog. It's just my dog and my bunny. Me and my dog. Yeah, that my dog for sure. That my dog. All right, for real, peace out. <laughs>